book of St. Matthew, 14 chapter, let's go to verse 22. Listen at what the word says to us. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciple to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side. While he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. Somebody say, walking on the sea. And when his disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, it is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. Straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately, somebody say immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Let me, let me just talk to you a minute just from a verse way up yonder. 22. Straightway, Jesus constrained his disciples. Hmm. Constrained them, convinced them to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. I want to talk to the congregation and let you know that what Jesus said. Jesus said, meet me on the other side. Look at your neighbor and said, Jesus said. Y'all ain't saying that, but no, no. Uh -uh. Look at your neighbor and said, Jesus said. Meet me on the other side. Now you got to understand, he said to them, meet me where? What did Jesus tell them to meet him? He said to meet him where? He tells his disciples to meet him on the other side. And if they are to meet him on the other side, they have the ability, they have the strength, they, they are fishermen, they're professional boatmen, they know how to handle storms, they have the ability to meet him on the other side. But when Jesus got through praying, they said he, he was there all by himself, but his disciples was in the middle of the sea. Isn't it amazing that when you're halfway to the point of where God called you to, that's when you are tested the most. If you don't understand what I'm saying, I'm saying when you're halfway doing what God told you to do, he called you to minister, he called you to sing, he called you to visit the sick, he called you to do this, and it seemed like you were on your way, you were happy, you were giddy, you were gay, but somewhere in the middle, somebody say in the middle, that storms came and the wind got boisterous and all hell broke loose. It looked like somebody Pull a rug away from under your feet. And while you're fighting the storm and while you're trying to survive, is there anybody in here uh, that's just trying to survive? Uh, you're trying to obey God. Uh, you're trying to keep his word. Uh, I'm trying, God, uh, to be what you want me to be. Uh, I'm doing the best I can. Uh, I do give my tithes. Uh, I do give an offering. Uh, I come to Bible study. Uh, I'm in prayer. But I'm in the middle of what you told me to do. I'm caught in the middle of what you told me to do. I'm not saying that what you told me to do, that I can't do it. But what I am saying. 
saying is that I need some help in this middle section. I need some help to endure. I need some help to carry out what you told me to do. Then the Bible says about three o'clock in the morning, here comes Jesus walking on the water. The disciples are fighting the storms. They're fighting their circumstances. They're fighting their conditions. I want to help somebody. I know you're fighting. Fighting on your job. Fighting with your children. Fighting with your spouse. But the Lord told me to tell you, you're just in the middle. Because while you're in the middle, here comes Jesus doing that which nobody else can do. He's walking on the water. I'm getting happy now. Because what you got to understand is that Jesus was not walking toward the ship. See, we think that Jesus was heading to the boat. He wasn't headed to the boat. Jesus was headed to the other side. Because if I told you to meet me on the other side, I've given you power. I've given you authority. I've given you the ability to meet me where I told you to meet me. But Peter and the disciples thought he was a ghost. They didn't realize he was a ghost. He was the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says they cried out. And as they cried out, the Bible says Jesus was about to walk by them. I want to help somebody. You may be in the middle, in the middle of a divorce, in the middle of losing your children, in the middle of whatever you're going through. God told me to tell you, don't give up because God's going to help you even though you're in the middle. And the Bible says, as Jesus was headed to the other side, he heard them cry out. It's something about crying out when you cry out to God. He will hear the cries of the righteous. And even though I told you to meet me on the other side, even though I gave you the authority to meet me on the other side, even though I gave you the ability to meet me on the other side. When you cry out, you're saying, God, I need your help. God, I need your assistance. God, this weight is too heavy. God, this burden is too much. And when you cry out,